Hello, hello, I am Mrs. Edwards and it is time to do math and I love it. Today I'm going to sprinkle in just a little neuroscience to help you memorize 24 trig properties. There's a strong link between stories and memory. Throw in a little kinesthetics, imagery, a song to boot. There's bound to be something here for you to memorize these 24 properties in no time. So let's get to it. Let's start with what you can expect to know by the end of this video. Any self-respecting mathematician has got to know these two quotient identities. In addition, we also need to know these reciprocal identities. Well, what's really cool about learning this trig wheel, notice tangent there at the top, cotangent at the bottom, sine and secant, cosine, cosecant. When you memorize this wheel, you also get all of these extra properties. Most people know the original quotient identities and these reciprocal identities, but without any more effort in memorization, you get all these other ones. And they can come in handy if you're trying to establish um, or prove a property or just simply simplify something. Having all these extra properties at your disposal can make the math so much easier. We're going to get to memorizing this trig wheel. That part is actually going to be the easiest thing. But let me first show you how it works. Let's start with what I call neighbors multiplied. Using your imagination, who are tangents next door neighbors? Well, they are sine and secant. So tangent is its neighbors multiplied together. Neighbors multiplied. So tangent is sine times secant. Secant's next door neighbors would be tangent and cosecant. So secant of theta would equal tan of theta times cosecant of theta. Cosecant's next door neighbors are secant and cotangent. So cosecant is equal to cotangent times secant. Then we could go down there to cotangent Cotangent's next door neighbors are cosine and cosecant. So cotangent is equal to cosine times cosecant. Cosine's next door neighbors are sine and cotangent. So cosine is equal to sine times cotangent. Lastly there, sine. Sine's next door neighbors are tangent and cosine. So sine is equal to cosine times tangent. Here we have six trig properties so far that rely on you have your trig function, you go to their neighbors, and you multiply them together. Next up, I like to call these neighbor divide neighbor. Those last properties, those were product properties, and these ones are going to be quotient properties. Now, these quotient identities, um, your textbook usually only gives you two, but we're going to end up with 12. So here we go. Tangent is its neighbor, its next door neighbor, divided by the one after that. So close neighbors divided by the neighbor after that. Tangent is sine over cosine. Tangent is also secant over cosecant. Let's do all of them around the wheel to make sure you have this down. Secant is tangent over sine, and it is also cosecant over cotangent. Cosecant is secant over tangent, and cosecant is also equal to cotangent divided by cosine. Cotangent is cosine over sine and is also equal to cosecant over secant. Cosine is sine over tangent and cosine is cotangent over cosecant. Last one, sine. Sine is cosine over cotangent and then sine is also tangent over secant. 
So notice it's just your close neighbor divided by your little bit further away neighbor. If you use your imagination and you think close neighbor and then next one, this right here would be a division symbol, right? Like a slash mark we use sometimes for division. So close one divided by the next one. So far we have neighbors multiplied together and then we have close neighbor divided by the neighbor after that. And the last one is the diagonal is the reciprocal. Diagonal reciprocal. All right, so sine, diagonal from sine is cosecant. So sine and cosecant are reciprocal functions, meaning sine is equal to one divided by cosecant. Not to patronize you, right? But one divided by a fraction just flips the fraction over. So that's why the notation is one over. One divided by two thirds is three over two. It works both directions. Cosecant, diagonal to cosecant is sine. So cosecant is one over sine. Cosine's diagonal is secant. So cosine is gonna be one over secant. Going the other way, secant, its diagonal is cosine. So secant is one over cosine. Tangent, diagonal to tangent is cotangent. So those are reciprocal functions. So tangent is equal to one over cotangent. And then cotangent would also be one over tangent. The reason again that these are called reciprocal functions is because if you use your unit circle and you find the answer to sine of an angle measure and cosecant of an angle measure, if you're finding it of the exact same angle measure, their answers are just flipped over. It's just a reciprocal. If you knew this wheel, you would know all of these properties. So here comes the story to help you remember the location of tan, cotan, sine, secant, cosine, cosecant on this wheel. This, by the way, is my husband. And after 22 years of marriage, I say, hey, honey, can you just do a couple quick clips for me? No questions asked. He just says, what do you want me to do? And I roll the film. We want to know that tan is up top. So using your imagination. <laughs> so the sun is up here and he is getting a sun tan, tan on your face. So tan is at the top. The next one, here he is in his snazzy blazer. This is gonna help us remember that cotangent is on the bottom. <laughs> now, of course, his coat is not as fancy as this one, but coat tails, coat tails are on the bottom. So, so far we have tan up top and coat, cotangent on the bottom. This next clip is gonna help you remember where sine, secant, cosine, cosecant go. I don't know if you've seen dodgeball or not. Um, if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Michel, don't make me bleed my own blood. These guys were the fighting cobras and this is how they entered the match. All of this to help you remember s sine and secant are up here. And then clapping your thighs, that's the C for clap. So cosine, cosecant. Let's put that all together. Putting that all together, we have tan up top, sun tan, coat tails, coat on the bottom. And then here, sine, secant. And then on the bottom, sides, cosine, cosecant. Now just for fun, putting that all together in a song, tan, tan, 
grabbing down here cotan because we need motions sine secant sine secant cosine cosecant one more time here tan grabbing your coattails cotan sine secant cosine cosecant so here goes the song for these 24 trig properties with motions each trig function has four equals tan cotan sine secant cosine cosecant neighbors so here neighbors on the side multiplied close neighbor divide then one next to it neighbor divide neighbor then the diagonal is the reciprocal. It's hard for me to click these and do the motions, so I'm gonna leave that there and do that one more time. Each trig function has four equals, tan, cotan, sine, secant, cosine, cosecant, neighbors multiplied, neighbor divide, neighbor, diagonal, reciprocal, boom! Well, blessing you with my voice was not the best part, but I hope you give this song a try and give this video a like.